Hey guys, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I hope you're doing really well wherever you are in the world with everything that we're navigating at the moment. Um, before we jump into your reading, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your support and for watching my videos and liking and sharing and commenting. I so greatly appreciate it. Um, for those of you that haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you do so, that way you'll know when I um, post new videos, um, so that would be so amazing for me. Also, um, I teach tarot, guys, if you want to learn tarot with me, the first link down below is the link to the initiation, which is my immersive uh, learn tarot journey that you can sign up for at any time. So. Don't forget that that's there. You'll also find the, the links to all my social media and the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself. Uh, I currently have places for readings and can deliver them fairly quickly. So if you would like to, to grab a reading, now is a really, really good time to do so. So I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's get across to your reading now. Gemini, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for November 1st to the 7th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. Now the oracle cards here, the first one out was deep replenishment, retreat, rest and be held. Gemini, it might be really important for you to take a bit more of a rest this week, to really pull back your energy, to really put yourself first. Now it's during that deep replenishment, which really reminds me of that four of swords energy, that sometimes you get your biggest breakthroughs sometimes you get your best ideas you get your new plans and you get the inspiration for how to move forward now your next oracle card out is the crumbling what are you clinging on to so there really is a sense here that you are coming to uh, a climactic point here I've got judgment I've got the death card here as well so what I'm really seeing here is a You've been in a calm before the storm energy because you know you are going to need to initiate some kind of big ending in your life. In Gemini, it's not really the ending of, okay, maybe I'm just going to uh, leave this particular job or this particular um, relationship. It's the ending of a whole cycle or whole season of your life. So maybe you're fundamentally changing the, the type of work that you do. Maybe you have fully learned your lesson when it comes to relationships. You know, that's really a big uh, foundational change that is going on for you. So with the Tower Energy, we are really advised to allow that to crumble, allow it to leave your life because the cards in the universe are saying it's not meant for you anymore. If we hold on to the tower, we go down with it. If we try and rebuild it, we generally end up going around for another cycle and ending up back at the tower moment. Now your overarching energy is, is uh, judgment here, Gemini. You are at the final judgment point this week. And with judgment, it is about liberating yourself from what has kept you small or held you back. So you'll know what situation this is for you, Gemini. It can be different in the general readings. For some of you, it will be love. For some of you, it will be business. But you have come to the end all that you can really handle in the situation with judgment again the decision is you know do you bring this to the climactic cyclic and karmic completion of the world energy the last major arcana or do you continue on for another cycle now if you carry on in the situation gemini you will know what you're going to get you're going to get more of the same that is how it works without fundamental transformation or change we generally get a similar result in our lives. Maybe you've had the divine wake up call, some kind of divine intervention. You've got eight of wands here. That has really been the aha moment that you needed to go, you know what, it is actually time to release myself from these chains that bind me, from whatever is really holding me back. And I've also got the three of pentacles here, which was the bottom of the deck energy from the star child tarot. And, you know, this energy here is about the rebuild. It's saying that from the space that you're going to create by allowing this job, this person, whatever it is to leave your life, you are now going to actually be able to make whatever it is happen that you've been trying to manifest behind this for a very long time. This is a three. It's creative energy, but it is the earthly 
um, reality of that happening is coming together it's forming you know you're using the learning and development out of all of the situation to finally transform your life how you want it Gemini okay let's jump in in your uh, recent past energy I've got the full and I've got the death card it's called transformation in this particular deck here what this really says to me is that you know, we have got a complete sliding doors situation here. Some of you may have already gone through the ending or initiated that. Others others of you are just really um, bringing that tower down this week. So in this particular death card, guys, from this deck, I see somebody who is coming out of this confined space, out of the chamber and transforming their life through this ending. The death card for me is about cyclic endings. It says that the season has come to pass and it is time for you to look for growth elsewhere. So we must surrender to this energy when it comes in because like I said, if we if we rebuild, we know what we're going to get. Instead, the fool is beckoning you here, Gemini, to walk a new path, to take a leap of faith. Now, what are you taking a leap of faith on? I think it's got something to do with a new partnership here. I've got the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups in this reading. So some of you are potentially leaving a relationship for another one, for a soul partnership here. When the Two of Cups up, comes out into a reading, it can be partnership in a business context as well. Some of you are partnering up, partnering up from someone, going into business to get away from a job that was really constricting you, that you know it was really divine time to transition on. This is a general reading, guys, so it can be read in either of those ways. But the Fool really says you are guided to leap towards the new and it is time Gemini for you to go your own way for you to go in the direction of your rebel heart and where your soul is really calling you because you have the guidance of the sun leading you look at that this the sense of divine intervention which is whatever you're really fully feeling the pull towards will be right for you follow your instinct and um, you can't really go wrong here I've got two hits of Scorpio I have Aries energy here as well so you might be dealing with one of those signs. Now in your current focus energy, I've got the Two of Cups, Eight of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. So you or the other person that you might be dealing with is showing up in the Nine of Pentacles. Now even though you are a water sign here, Gemini, I feel like it is you. This ending has really elevated your energy in some way and made you attractive and magnetic for the right person to enter your life at the right time. And yes, this is most likely romantic love for many of you. The Two of Cups is a soul connection or soul partnership really coming together with that person that you're going to journey with in the next chapter of your life. With the Eight of Wands here, this person could reach out to you or connect with you online. There is a chance that they do live in a different location from you. But the Eight of Wands again is another card of divine intervention saying that, you know, this is about stars aligning at the right time for this person to enter your life as a catalyst to bring down this tower moment and to transition into the new. Now, as a reader, the Eight of Wands is a card for me of doing a 180 in your life. It's like an unexpected plot twist or twist or turn. So when this person enters your life, Gemini, they are going to fundamentally change your direction in some way. So you may have had a plan for your life. You may have thought, okay, well, I'm staying here. I'm, I'm working in this job or I'm finishing uni or whatever it is, three of pentacles study, and then I'm going to relocate here and then I'm going to do this, this and this. And this person is coming into your life and they are going to shift the entire game. They're going to change your life plan. And maybe the crumbling is that plan or the vision that you had for your life needing to be let go to move in a different direction with this person. So that's what I'm really seeing, guys. Somebody that can come in that really can change the game. The Nine of Pentacles, though, is this card of success and quality and luxury and really being able to to achieve with this person so they might be somebody that you even team up with in in a business sense so in your outcome i've got the knight of wands queen of wands king of cups so the knight of wands i feel like they are going to make you an offer they are coming forward to express their feelings their heart their emotions for you 
The Queen of Wands here, I mean, all the court cards, guys, can be people that you're dealing with or they can be characteristics that you need to integrate within yourself. The Queen of Wands is an Aries energy, Knight of Cups is Pisces, King of Cups is Scorpio. What I'm seeing here, though, is somebody is going to express their heart um, to you and I feel that that Queen of Cups, sorry, the Queen of Wands energy is with you, which is about you making a decision to take a leap of faith to follow your passions, purpose and desires rather than this plan that you'd put in place, which was a plan based on maybe what you felt you needed to do in life, the path that you felt like you needed to take, the well-worn path. Because I've got the Hierophant in reverse over here, guys, which means that you are going to be stepping off the traditional path now and following a different direction with this person that maybe, just maybe, you didn't see coming. So Queen of Wands is about having the vision to realize, hey, you know what, it is time to go my own way. I can see this is how, how this is really going to light me up on different levels. King of Cups here can be a quick maturing of this connection from Knight to King, right? Quick growth, you know, really coming in and being somebody who can have your back. This person here is going to be grounded, they're going to be emotionally intelligent, mature, and somebody who can really, really be your rock and be there for you. Maybe in the past you've come out of a time where things were in some ways more unstable emotionally. Now you're coming together with somebody who you can really build a strong foundation with, who can really be with you and um, you know have your back in those times of need. So Hierophant in reverse. Devil in reverse here, guys. You're going to be overcoming a darker period here by, you know, going um, along with this person and accepting this offer. It's interesting that the devil is in reverse here, guys, because when I usually read the judgment energy from the right away that shows the people launching out of these small dark spaces, I always say it is the devil energy that they are liberating themselves from. Now, the devil energy in this particular case, Gemini, I feel was that well-worn path, that plan that you had for yourself that just maybe was going to actually end up trapping you in some way. Now somebody is coming in through divine guidance, divine intervention, and they are shifting your path towards one of freedom, towards one of truth, and towards one where you are going to follow what your heart wants rather than what I feel your head or, you know, the traditional path would have had you um, following. So it's time for you to take a leap of faith here, sometimes a blind leap of faith into the new. With the full energy, Gemini, we are trusting the path and walking it anyway. We're not getting caught up in the final uh, destination or the end game, all the obstacles or challenges that you, you know, you will face along the way because any path has those. But you know you're being called in that direction, so you step on and take the first steps anyway. Okay, Gemini, well, I'm going to leave it there, and I hope you enjoyed this weekly reading. Do keep in mind it is a general reading for the collective guys, and it can't, won't, and isn't meant to resonate with all of you. Do leave me a comment if you're called to share. I read them all and try to connect with you all over there. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share, and all of that before you leave, guys. It really helps me in bringing these readings to you. Uh, I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead, Gemini. I will see you back here for another one next week. Bye for now.